Hey y'all, Ibrick Sky here, and this is what to do if your iPad won't update because it doesn't have enough storage, or what to do if your iPhone won't update because it doesn't have enough storage. So I've got an iPad, it's a smaller capacity iPad, and actually it was iOS 18, and I couldn't get iOS 18 to install on the iPad because the iPad didn't have enough storage space to download and install iOS 18. So here's what you may want to do if uh, if you encounter the same thing. So if you go into your your phone, that's your iPhone or your uh, or your iPad, it's going to function the same way. And you go into settings, which is the gray gear. You go to your name, and then you see where it says iCloud. Now you'll see if you do see all. For the iCloud, uh, you'll see the uh, the toggles either on or off. And what you may find, and this is what the root cause of my iPad not having enough storage space was, you may find the iCloud Photos. So if you use the Photos app to store your photos and videos across multiple Apple devices, iPad, iPhone, Mac, whatever, if you use that, but then, okay, if that's on, Okay, that's the first thing to check. Then go back to the gray gear icon and go to uh, general and then go to iPhone storage or iPad storage. And look down there, scroll down and you'll see where it says photos. Now keep in mind what we're looking at now is the local storage. So either the local iPhone storage or the local iPad storage. So look at photos and you may find that photos is extremely large. And that was the case that, that was the situation I had encountered. So before continuing, make sure that all your photos are backed up and you know, you don't, you don't want to risk losing any photos. But if you've got a backup, this is what I did when iOS would not update because I didn't have enough storage space on my iPad. So what I did, I went back to the gray gear, I went to my name, and then I went to iCloud. Then I selected photos, and there's an option there that says sync this phone or sync this iPad. And what I did, I turned that off. Because after I turned it off, I was then able to delete the photos from the local device. Again, have a backup before you do this, but all of my photos were already synced to iCloud, so they were on the local device, taking up an abundance of storage space. That's photos and videos, even though I had them synced to iCloud. And so what I did, like I said, I turned off the sync to this iPad, or in your case, it may be synced to this iPhone. And then after doing that, with it off, I was able to go into the Photos app on my iPad and go down to the, uh, uh, to the recently, well, you can go in and it'll let you choose to delete your local photos and your local videos. Again, make sure you got a backup, but what I did with iCloud for photos turned off, I went in and deleted the photos and videos. Then the device storage, the iPad, again, this could be this would be applicable for iPhone as well, but the device storage was significant enough to where I was then able to run the iOS update without running into any without running into any storage space constraints. And then after I updated to iOS, in this case I updated my iPad to iOS 18, after iOS 18 installed, then I went back into the gray gear on my iPad and I went to uh, Photos, well I went to my name and then iCloud and then iCloud Photos and I said sync this iPad, so I turned the sync back on. So after the iPad was updated to iOS 18, then I turned the iCloud Photos sync back on and I went into the Photos app on the iPad and I can see that it's that it's uh, you know downloading the photos from iPad. And I want to point this out on that same screen where you are. The uh, 
the option to optimize iPhone storage definite or optimize iPad storage or optimize iPhone storage definitely do that because it says it right here it says if your iPhone or iPad is low on space full resolution photos and videos automatically replaced by smaller device size version full resolution versions can be downloaded from iCloud at any time so in other words you're just keeping a lower resolution photo on your iPad or your iPhone which is going to consume less local storage on your iPhone or your iPad because it's keeping your photos and videos in iCloud which is not on your device so be sure that is checked and uh, and you know it's going to take depending upon your internet speed it'll probably take a while uh, for since you've turned iCloud photos back on after updating iOS it'll probably take a while for everything to uh, to sync back up but that's how I did it and uh, it was you know it it was frustrating to work through but that's why I filmed this video if this video helped you and this is not required but if this video helped you feel free to send me a super thanks you can choose to do so look down below this video and there's a button that says thanks you can choose to click thanks and send me a super thanks it's a great way to support my channel and help to promote the uh, creation of tutorial videos like this one and and my other videos too Thanks for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe, ring that bell, and check out all my other videos too. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.